Hello everybody. Uh, today I will say something about z rechargeable zinc batteries. Uh, the rechargeable zinc batteries are really really interesting because uh, these batteries are uh, really safe and also cheap to produce and uh, also have really great uh, energy density. Uh, so these batteries are really perfect uh, for some grid storage uh, but also you get if you make some zinc uh, rechargeable zinc batteries uh, you have also some issues the one of the issues is the formation of zinc dendrites Repeated cycling can result in stripping and redeposition that roughens the surface. The roughening of the surface changes the electric field and draws more metal to spikes that are beginning to grow. These can grow with tremendous mechanical force, puncture the separator, and directly connect the anode with the cathode which can create an internal short circuit. This can lead to an uncontrolled discharge reaction which heats the cell and causes additional exothermic reactions leading to what is called thermal runaway. So, uh, a lot of researcher or, uh, or inventor making uh, batteries, battery design, uh, like uh, sandwich design. This is the cathode, the separator and the anode and put this all together. So, the problem is, here is your uh, cathode and here is your anode uh, if you recharge this cell uh, the zinc dendrites will form on the negative and will grow to the cathode and when get uh, the dendrites to the cathode the batteries is shorted here I have my uh, polymer separator uh, polymer electrolyte separator uh, which is basic uh, this electrolyte uh, I use in another zinc battery type but uh, I also uh, tested with uh, this new battery design this separator electrolyte is white and this you can see here uh, some zinc formation uh, but uh, with this separator I uh, only get three cycles because after three cycles you can see here the penetration of dendrites Here was the negative side and here was uh, the positive side. So the dendrites uh, have grown from an anode to the cathode and after the three cycles the battery was dead. Uh, also the same issue is on the paper separator. You can see this uh, dendrites formation the penetration of dendrites for this problem you have here some couple of solutions the one solution is uh, to make some solid ceramic electrolyte uh, this electrolyte separator electrolyte will prevent any shortings uh, made from uh, dendrites but to make this separator uh, I mean you cannot make this at home but you have also uh, another option how to prevent uh, the shortenings from dendrites uh, in this design like this uh, this is like a sandwich design uh, here 
uh, with this design you will get only two to three cycles and after three cycles the battery will be dead uh, because the distance between uh, cathode and anode is uh, too short and the dendrites will uh, will form really quickly from anode to the cathode but if you make some greater distance between cathode and anode uh, you get a lot more cycles uh, because uh, the distance uh, is, is too big for uh, the dendrites and if you recharge this battery for about one to two hours uh, the, the dendrites will not uh, reach the cathode but if you recharge this battery for 24 hours uh, the dendrites have uh, uh, enough time to uh, reach the cathode but if your battery needs uh, only two to three hours of recharging then the dendrites will not reach the cathode so greater is the distance between cathode and anode uh, more cycles you get but with this design is some issue greater is the uh, greater is the distance uh, less power you get from this battery uh, the voltage will be always the same if you have uh, anode and cathode like this or you reduce the distance between cathode and anode the voltage is always the same the current in this design like this you will get better current like if you have some distance between uh, cathode and anode uh, in this with this design I create uh, a cycle life over thousand cycles so I will put this in demonstration here I have water-based electrolyte Right now, this is like a sandwich design. First, the voltage. You can see 1.57 volts. And now the current. I need to go to 10 amps. Uh, almost, <laughs> I mean, uh, 600, 700 milliamps. Okay. Back to the voltage. And now I will read, uh, I will make some distance. between anode and cathode with this design I get over uh, over of thousand cycles with no problem okay now the voltage first you can see the voltage is the same 1.59 volts and now the current I have here to the 200 milliamps so like you see if you uh, 
if you make some distance between anode and cathode, you reduce the power. Oops. You reduce the power. Uh, but you also get uh, no problems with the dendrites. The another uh, mechanical redesign of the cell uh, will be like uh, a sandwich design, which is uh, you put the anode on the cathode, but uh, between I use an insulator. So I cover the negative electrode uh, with the insulator. And make a sandwich. And all this I put in the electrolyte. You see, you get much more, you get a better current, but the distance is really, really short between the anode and the cathode. Between anode and cathode, uh, I use an insulator. But all this come in some electrolyte. So in this case the dendrites will be stopped in this insulator. And you get far more cycles uh, from this design, uh, like if you don't use uh, any uh, insulator between cat out and an out. Uh, the connection of the electrolytes is all over here. The current right now on this distance is and when I get closely very closely you also higher the current you see bigger is the distance between anode and cathode more cycles you get but also you reduce uh, the the current. Uh, more you reduce the distance between anode and cathode, more current you get, but less cycles. So guys, you need to experiment with uh, this type of the better of battery uh, to create a great. Uh, balance between cycles and uh, power output. That's it guys. Uh, how to mechanical prevent shorting out the battery with the dendrites. Also I need to say uh, this project I mean this video uh, is sponsored by my Patreon donations uh, so thank you very much Thank you very much for watching and uh, we see us in another video. Bye. Don't try this yourself. It's extremely dangerous.